Everywhere where electrical energy is produced, consumed or distributed, modern electronics is used. At Electronica, the world's leading trade fair for component systems and electronics applications, 2,669 exhibitors from 48 countries are presenting new products and innovative services at the Munich Exhibition Center. One subject with great innovation dynamics is complex smart energy solutions. SES gives us great hope. We are expecting a lot from this energy-saving environmental technology. We are making enormous efforts in this area. We are extending our business segments, starting with silicone carbides and on through to multi-part devices. In the 1950s, the Rome company in Kyoto began to build electronic components, mainly resistors. Meanwhile, the Japanese are giving thought to how smart energy supply for small devices, such as mobile phones, might look. Hydrogen fuel cells are one option. NXP is a leading company in the semiconductor industry. The Dutch are also offering, amongst other things, a diversity of low energy control mechanisms for lighting systems. Traditionally, on the first day of the trade fair, the CEO roundtable takes place. This year it deals exclusively with smart technical solutions for the smart grid. The star-studded event answers questions about the most important technologies or the growing demand for measurement, control and automation. With bringing ideas together, we will be able even to develop new ideas, new innovations and I think it is not only a business fair, it's a fair of great technology and ideas. So-called energy harvesting is particularly smart. Through this, the user wins small amounts of electrical energy from mechanical switching, vibrations, air currents or temperature differences. The Fraunhofer Institute for Integrated Circuits has long since been an important link in the chain. As a research institution and commercial partner in the field of microelectronic systems, the IIS is looking far into the future. Ultimately, you can imagine it like this. A sensor network for the surveillance of buildings and structures, etc., has over 100 sensor nodes that need to be powered. It is simply very expensive to change the batteries every one or two years. And ultimately, I can definitely see the potential of energy harvesting in such applications. The colleagues from the Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Applied Materials Research combine different technologies and thus find tailor-made energy harvesting solutions. For example, printed electronics for heat generators. For many people, just dreams of the future. At Electronica 2012, the future has already arrived.